So here we are on the runway, a uh, brand new uh, variant of this aircraft, uh, the Mark III, um, so the 103 Mark III. Um, I put the larger cockpit on it. Um, it still has eight engine configuration, um, it has more coolers, has the wheels in a slightly different configuration. Inside we have an inverted uh, and droppable um, car. We have uh, the passenger seating up front for the people we rescue. They're also ejectable in case we get into trouble we need to eject them. Um, also I've added uh, three times the number of air brakes for landing and we've cleaned it up a little bit. I think we've lost about eight to ten parts off the original aircraft design. So we're coming in on the coastline here, um, been flying for about an hour, uh, at about 150 meters per second, give or take. Now we'll just uh, skirt these mountains to the right, and we'll kind of make our way through this way here, and on through. If we look at the big map, we skirt those mountains to the right through here, we're going to go through this pass here and straight up to this island. Hopefully we can get these guys. Now speaking more on the systems we have on board, um, we do have some oil cans, so we can do some uh, um, oil changes if we have to, two of them. Um, what we have in the back here, a buggy, which is battery powered, and some of the wheels hold up. Now before I deploy it, I have to drop these wheels, so I might as well do that now. I think what I might do is fly down around this mountain range and just take a look. And then from there we'll head out this way and up to where the crash site was over here where my stranded guys are. One hour and 32 minutes flight time. So we have rounded the um, mountain area in the southern pole. Just flew around here, and now I'm heading up to the island here. Darkness is falling in on us. So there are our guys over there, um, 53 kilometers east northeast. Um, we'll we'll um, we'll fly in um, direct course. We are a about, well, we're approaching our 50% fuel point, and I'll quickly go over our course uh, on the map, um, so we can see visually, stabilize a little bit here. Okay, let's go check out the map. So we started off at the KSC, we flew south, we went through, uh, past this mountain range here, we went around the uh, end of the mountain range over the South Pole. We then went back north, um, away from the pole, and then I turned east towards our stranded guys. That's where we are now. Our flight time is 2 hours and 40 minutes. Now, we have heard rumors from the guys on the ground, because we are in radio contact with them, that there is an old air base somewhere just east of them. So we're going to take a quick look for that and uh, hopefully we can find it and land there. They can then rendezvous with us with the vehicle there and, uh, and then we can get these guys well on their way to, uh, to getting back home. So we'll, um, we'll drop it close to a thousand hopefully. We'll see what happens. Um, that there appears to be a runway. I don't know why I didn't notice that before. Jeez. Mm. Appears to be a runway there. So we're going to drop this vehicle for these guys. We're then going to proceed to land at that airway, or that runway, and we will then have the guys and the vehicle rendezvous with us there. 
Let's hope this goes off without a hitch. Um, the wheels are deployed up upside down. The whole vehicle sits upside down, but there's upside down facing wheels so that it, when this decouples, it then hits this um, ramp and rolls with the wheels and just kind of cartwheels out. Um, so it's not perfect, but it, it, it does work and uh, it, it should be able to float safely down to the ground and then um, be drivable. I hope it doesn't get damaged on the way out. Okay, so we are slightly nose down. We're two kilometers away. We're also a thousand meters above the ground. I'm now going to drop it. Out she goes. Come on, girl. Yes! 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 And it won't deploy until it's like 500 meters from the ground, which will be very shortly. There it is. And we will proceed to land. So if I get down nice here, I'm going to drop the thrust a bit. Pull back, pull back, pull back. It can quickly get away on you, this thing. Uh, like that. Oh, God. Okay. Horrible landing. We're going to get uh, as close as possible to this uh, refueling station here. Thank God this is here. How did this even get here? I have no clue. And we're going to brake, brake, brake. Okay, we're going to shut the motors off. It says it's fueling. It is indeed fueling. We can see here. We'll take a little bit of time. So yes, uh, I, I, I did land it. I mean, it was a horrible, horrible landing. This is, uh, I guess, I'm just grateful that I didn't completely destroy the aircraft and make it unflyable. Um, but, uh, you know, that was really sloppy. There we go. So, the, the, the tra fuel transfer has completed. I'm going to start this one engine up and back us up over here, and we will await the other crew members, uh, hopefully if they can drive over here, um, and everything goes well. And now we're going to jump over to our other guys. Where is it? Here it is! Oh my god! Okay, so what we want to do, this is pretty... <coughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this. We should be able to tip that over if I run into it, maybe. I hope so. Yes! Okay. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So I'm going to get in here. Yes! Okay, so at least something is working, right? Breaks off. Here we go. So the old cockpit is right over here. I'm going to go over there first. I think there's a couple guys stuck in there. Yes, okay, this is, this is turning out. This is turning out. Okay, board. Okay, board him. Awesome. Toss our brakes on. Okay. This is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. I, I can't get enough of how, how happy I am with this board. I mean, you know, things happen and you gotta, you know account for that but it's really fun just to, to be able to do something like this this is this is perfect how many times do you see a rescue mission involving this many guys so I'm about halfway from the wreckage 3.2 kilometers to the wreckage and 3 kilometers to our aircraft parked at the runway um, and I, I gotta say I, I'm grateful that I brought this little vehicle um, simply because I would not want to land or taxi the aircraft across this ground. <laughs> um, and I would not want to run six guys five kilometers each. That, that would just not be something I would do. So uh, this is invaluable, this little vehicle, getting our rescued Kerbals to the runway so that we can actually get them home. Okay, so we're very close to where the static mo uh, model of the runway Whoa, 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 no, no, oh, damn, oh, I've almost, come on, yes, damn, if you don't get it completely upside down, you have the capability of having a guy flip it over just by walking into it, so that's perfect. Now we just got to find a place on the ground here. We're going to go up the hill a little bit more, not get carried away like we did before. <laughs> yes, I found a place up right over here on this side of the runway. It's nice and smooth, so I drove up and we are officially in business. 
I'll drive over to the aircraft. We're going to start loading these guys. Okay, we're going to break. So how do we get into this aircraft? Well, I thought about that when I was designing it, was I cleverly placed a seat here where if we walk close enough to it, we can board that seat and then leave the seat. Now it's a little bit of a klutzy system. I gotta, you know, I'll admit to that. But it saves a lot of time for me. This is our last guy we have to board. Um, when I leave the seat, he jumps up here. I simply have to make him fall back in again. When he gets back up, board him into his seat. We now have six guys. We still actually have two empty seats in here. Uh, Bob Kerman has an EV, has a, has a, uh, a technical rating of 0.9. So he's our mechanic. He should be able to do everything we need to do to these engines at, at, at a 90% efficiency uh, for the most part. And morning comes, we'll be good to take off. Okay, the sun is coming up. I just boarded and finished, you know, uh, fixing all the engines. I think we're ready to take off. not have any issues on the runway. So that's a bit of a short land, uh, short takeoff, uh, or a long takeoff, I should say. I probably should have uh, used a little bit more thrust. Say goodbye to the little car, and the neat little static runway, and the remains of our once proud Oceanic 103, a Mark 1. Uh, I don't know what the heck that... Uh-oh.